Okay, we are back. Welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. We are on the... We're trying to finish up Chapter 5, Nightmare in Etheria. And now we are in Etheria, which is this nice otherworldly plane. And there's a lot that's going to be going on, so hang in there with me. Wonderful fairies... Let's see, we are going to go this way. Now, every time I come back to this screen, and I'm going to be coming back here a lot, the fairies are going to come over and they're going to sing. So I'm going to click through that so we don't have to listen to it each time, because it is time consuming. It does add up. And for the moment, we are going to uh, climb our winding path here. So, we're not going to go here. If we go here right now, we die. Uh, so stay away from this. <laughs> right now we're going to try to get this wonderful fruit hanging off this tree here. Oh, I misclicked. It's a very small hitbox to, to get it. Scooch back up the tree. There we go. Okay, and we have Ambrosia. Fruit of the Gods. Okay. And right now, we are going to head south. We're going to be coming back here in a little bit. No, oh, go this way. I wish I could just click down here and she'd walk all the way, but she won't. I've got to go row by row. Okay. So the other thing I just clicked through was they play a song for you. You hear a tune. And where we're going up here, we need to replicate that tune on this harp. Okay, so it should be... Yep. And I apologize for going so quick through this. There's just a lot to do. Who are you? We are the Fates, mortal. I am Clotho. I spin the fates of women and men. I am Lachesis. I measure the fates of women and men. I am Atropos. I sever the fates of women and men. What do you want of us, daughter of humanity? My daughter is imprisoned by Militia, and I fear for her life. I must see Oberon and Titania immediately. You cannot. The king and queen have gone on a journey, seeking their own lost child. Take your case to Mab, the Lady of Dreams. Where is this Mab? How can I find her? She lives beyond the waking world. On an island of dreams and nightmares, it cannot be reached in the waking reality. Okay, so we need to go find Mob. And we're going to have to go to another plane to pull it off. So again, they're going to come and sing, and we're just going to move right along. And she moves the slowest on this screen of any screen in the game. I don't know if it's because these guys are going 
and all this movement's happening at the same time she is. But it's driving me nuts. Okay. These rainbows will take us to different parts of the world we've already explored. And the one that I need right now is this one. And we can come back here at any time by playing our flute. But if you remember last episode, we were dealing with the statues. And there was the one that had the cornucopia, the horn of plenty. We're going to take the ambrosia and place it into the cornucopia. And if we look inside, we get a pomegranate. Now if we go and see Lady Ceres, we might be able to save her life. I have replenished the cornucopia, Lord Attis. See, this strange fruit was part of its bounty. A pomegranate? The pomegranate is the symbol of birth and death, of regeneration. Perhaps it could help my series. But no, I dream. It's awful sad as he lays there playing his lute, trying to comfort her, I think, and himself. Ah. My love, my love. Sweet husband, how I missed you. I cannot stay, Ceres. I must go to Etheria and do what I can to help. The volcano. I know, love. I have work to be done as well. The forest has sustained much damage from Alicia's ugly curse, <laughs> and I must make it right. You have my deepest thanks, dear lady. We're gonna come back and see her in a bit, but for the moment, farewell, my friend. We're gonna grab another pomegranate out of this. You can only get one at a time. You would think she wasn't in a hurry, and I don't know of a way to speed up her walking speed. I've looked. I think there's a way to do it, but I haven't. I haven't found it yet. Okay, and we're going to play our flute, and we're going to go back to Etheria. And that's going to be kind of a recurring thing. We're going to be going back and forth a lot. Now we're going to take this rainbow. And this is the fastest way to travel between the worlds to where we have to go. Howdy, hi, sugar pie. Hey there, mama. I didn't think I'd ever see your succulent self again. Most people never come out of that bad old Ooga Booga land. Why don't you come on over here and tell me about it? Oh. 
a plant referring to something else as succulent is amusing to me. And if you aren't aware, a succulent is a plant that hoards water. So anyway, as I was saying, um, cactuses are succulents and uh, like aloe plants. I have a couple big aloe plants and planters out front of my, uh, my condo. My dear Lady Valenice, what brings you back to this neck of the boneyard? <laughs> Dr. Cadaver, I have a a terrible problem. Come in, come in. So we're gonna have a cutscene we need to see. Um, and I don't want to click through it because it is Can plot. Can I help you, Lady Valenice? It's a long story, Doctor. But what it comes down to is that I must travel to Dreamland to see Lady Mab. But I can't find a safe place to sleep. Is that all? Don't worry, my lady. Just climb into my coffin here. It's lined with pure dream silk. You'll be asleep in no time. I think he's earned our trust. I suppose I could try to sleep here. Please do. I'll make sure you're not disturbed. Thank you. Here you are, my dear. Sweet dreams. Good form. But I suppose when you're dreaming, you can do anything you want. Frozen. She was a solid block of ice. Oh dear. Mab was never known for her warm personality. But that doesn't sound right at all. It looks like things are worse than we knew. I must go. Thank you, Dr. Cadaver. You've been very kind. I wish you the best of luck, Lady Valenice. Farewell. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Cadaver. All right, we're going to use our flute again, and we're going to go back to Etheria. And we're going to report back to the Fates what we saw.
and part of why this whole thing takes so long is that there's way more dialogue. I feel like this episode is is more dialogue and context heavy than any of the other chapters so far. You know, it's wrapping everything up and trying to. Um, I have seen Mab, and she has been frozen into a lifeless statue of ice. Ice always melts in the spring, mortal. Perhaps the Lady of Spring can tell you what may be done. She of the flowers. She of the forest. I remember it being extremely frustrating to have to go through all of these steps, but to go to um, all of these links to be told just to go somewhere else. And it's kind of it's kind of how you feel at the end of the first um, Super Mario game, um, where at the end of every castle, Toad is there and he's like, sorry, but our princess is in another castle. And you're just kind of like, well, just tell me which one. <laughs> and why do you have a dragon guarding this one? Um, so we need to go back and see Lady Ceres. So I'm going to get through this episode, uh, get through this chapter in this episode. Um, because after this we just have one more chapter to do. And I don't really want to split this one up into, into three parts. Lady Ceres, may I ask a question of you? Anything. I have seen Mab, Lady of Dreams, and she has been placed under a terrible curse. She's been frozen like a block of ice. Lady of Spring, what can be done for her? Frozen, you say? Let me think. I do recall a legend, yes. You must fill a shaft of crystal with purest sunlight. With that, you can thaw her. But I must warn you, you cannot take any physical objects into the land of dreams while you are asleep, my lady. You will have to travel there awake. Okay. Well, it's not a lot of help, um, unless you know what you're doing. But we need to go back to the fates and tell them what she said. So... We use our flute. Okay. And we're off. I saw a speed run of this. I think the world record is, is, and don't quote me on this, I could be wrong, it might not be the world record, but I know it was fast. I think it was the world record. is like 30 minutes to beat the whole game. And bear in mind, you can skip a lot of cutscenes, and I think he had found a way to walk faster as well. Um, but I've searched online. So if you know how to walk faster, put it in the comments. It'll just be too late, because I will probably have already beaten the game by then. <laughs> I have seen Ceres, and she has told me that I must enter the land of dreams while awake. How can I do this, great ladies? You must cheat the fabric of reality. You must ride on the wings of a dream. There is only one who can do such a thing. Our nephew, the weaver of dreams.
You will need this. It sometimes pleases our nephew to surround himself with the darkest terrors of night. Farewell, Valenice. Okay. Now we have the Dreamcatcher. So remember that cave I told you a minute ago that we couldn't go to because we would die? Well, now we're going to go to it. So back up that hill we go. I would like to take this time, since I have a moment, to uh, thank you guys who watch my channel. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers, and that's okay. I do this for fun. I do this in a lot of ways as my own kind of uh, self-care time. Um, and I'm always looking for new games to play. And uh, I've recently acquired a bunch, and I'm, I'm very excited to play them. As well as play some uh, old classics. Um, I still have to finish Ocarina of Time. That's still on my to-do list. Um, and part of my holdup, and even my holdup in getting these episodes up, is, in all honesty, um, my computer's hard drive ate itself. So I couldn't capture anything, I couldn't play this game, and I had to figure out what was going on with it. So when we come over here, we're going to be greeted by a monster. And if you don't have the dream catcher, he will kill you. So anyway, I was able to get my hard drive restored and get a new one put in, and now we're back up and going. Excuse me. Hello? So he's not really going to talk to us. However, if we show him the Dreamcatcher... Your aunt's the fates gave me this object to get past your nightmare. My business with you is most urgent. You captured my nightmare in that little thing. How amusing. How irritating. I suppose I should have had a second creature on hand, but I seldom weave more than one at a time. Nightmares are solitary creatures, you know. They will destroy each other on sight. Dream Weaver, listen to me! Oberon and Titania are remember. missing, and Mab has been horribly cursed. I must reach her Isle of Dreams while awake and cure her, or all will be lost! My precious sister is missing. You must go to Mab immediately. Wait, I will give you something. So believe it or not, we are actually not far from being done with this chapter. When you ride this magical tapestry, you can travel through dreams in the flesh. But be warned, you will be vulnerable. Hurry, mortal, hurry. Okay, so we're keeping the dream catcher, that's very important, and we have the tapestry of dreams. And he's weaving in a new nightmare monster. Okay. Alright, well, we need to go down and we need to get one last thing. We need a crystal to hold the light. For this, we have to go back to Malisha's house. And suddenly she's walking faster on this screen. Weird. Okay. And now we need to go back down to Ooga Booga, which should be this one here.
Now it's going to be the same thing with this that we did the last time we were here, where I'm going to go around back, listen for the dog. If it's there, I have to go off screen, come back, and keep doing that until the dog is gone. So let's see if, where is it? It's kind of a weird spot. Um, come on. There we go. I shouldn't have the camera all the way over. Can't hang out on this screen. He wakes up and he'll get you. Oh, hey, dog's not there. The dog will yip and you have to do the whole back and forth thing again. It's our big night, my widow cuddles. We're going to blow that rotten old Etheria right out of the sky. And we just might take the rest of the world with it, won't we, kissy boy? Mm. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back down. There's the dog, and we have to use the ambrosia on it, or we will get caught. It's too bad there won't be anyone left to admire my beauty. Cuddles. What do you have in your mouth? Let me see. No matter, you naughty boy. Let's go watch the fireworks. Okay. Now we can go back up. And we need to go check out this lamp. That has these wonderful crystals hanging from it. Okay. And now we have a crystal shaft. And now we're done. Let's get out of here. Before we get caught. Back to Etheria we go. Oh, I can't do it. I have to go up a screen. It won't let me call him on the screen. So we are going to make one more trip back to the desert world. I would forgotten about this, but it's because we have the crystal. Remember that temple that had the scorpion in it? We gotta go back there. All the way from chapter one. I have no idea how we were supposed to figure out most of this. Puzzle games were so different back then. And I miss them in a lot of ways. Okay. So we're going to use our light crystal on the beam of light. Now, this is going to be tricky because I'm going to go to the dream world. And I have the crystal shaft with sunlight. I'm going to save. And we're going to go to the dream world. Now, every time something comes at me in the dream world, uh, one of the monsters, I have to use the dream catcher on it. Okay, 
let's get out of here. So now we need to go find the ice frozen mob. And use light on her to melt the ice. What? Well, who are you? I am Valenice of Daventry, my lady ma'am. I urgently need your help. Militia has ignited the volcano and Oberon and Titania cannot be found. Militia! That vicious creature enchanted me so that she could destroy us all. Well, she won't succeed. You must send the winds to find the king and queen. I? How am I to do that? You must harness the wind, Sirocco, and ride him to the top of the mountain of winds. King Leventhal will surely help you. I must go, brave Valenice. I must try to hold back the volcano's explosion. Thank you for freeing me from my prison of ice. If we all survive this, I will send you only sweet dreams for the rest of your life. How wonderful. Okay. All right. So they've given us a magic bridle, and I don't know if you remember earlier seeing a white ghostly looking horse fly across the screen. We're going to try to capture it. And to do so, we have to go up here to the top. There he is. But we're going to go up here. We're going to get into position to hide. Hmm. And when he comes by, we're going to hit him with the bridle. Any minute now. Do 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 Oh, there he is. Ha! Got him. Okay. Well, that's aggressive. Are you? I am Levanter, King of the Wind. Who are you, one? <laughs> I am Valenice of Daventry. Your Majesty, we must summon Oberon and Titania. The Lady Militia plans to detonate the volcano, and all of Eldritch will be destroyed. Come to me. Come to me now. Fly, my people. Fly and find the Lord and Lady of Etheria. Hey, there they are. 
Melisha has ignited the volcano? Are you sure of this? See for yourself, my Lord Oberon. Sweet Mother Nature! We thank you, mortal. You are valiant and brave. Come, my husband. We must try to undo what has been done. I only pray that we can. Alright, and that ends chapter 5. Chapter 6 is going to be a much shorter one. It's a, This is the shortest chapter, but it will be the finale, but you'll have to see it next time. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Appreciate it, guys. Love you all. And, uh, yeah, next episode. Ready, set, boom.